If you're ready to start working out again, but maybe it's been a while and you'd like a little bit of support just for balance, then grab a chair. This is a chair workout where you can sit or you can stand, but we'll always have the chair next to you just for a little bit of confidence. We're going to be working on strength, on flexibility, on stability, and balance. So grab your chair, I'll meet you right back here. I'd like you to move to the front of your chair a little bit more if you're in your chair. You can always graduate to do this standing, you know? So here we are at the beginning of the, at the front of the chair, so you're not tempted to lean back on the chair, but you really do have to use your four principles. So let's pull the abs in, kegel and pull up. Nice long spine, pull it long like a string of pearls where no pearl sits on, an, on another. Shoulder blades in your back are down, ears are over the shoulders. Let's just take a deep breath while we hold those four principles. And then we're just gonna start to flow for about 12 minutes. So here we go. Let's lift it up, inhale and come to the center. So you know this beginning flow, it's all about opening up the whole shoulder girdle. We wanna get the shoulder girdle, lots of synovial fluid into the joints. We want some nice mobility in the shoulder girdle. And we're also gonna go into some spinal rotation for the beginning. So that is our objective right at the beginning. Now we want to take some deep breaths in. So when your arms go up, you breathe in, shoulders stay down. Let's stay right there. You can hold the side of the chair if you want to. We're just going to flow over to the side. Both sit bones stay on that chair and up. Let's go the other way. And remember, you do not want to tip the sit bones off of that chair, but both sit bones have equal weight on the chair, not tipping from the pelvis. We're just stretching from the waist. So these are some just very nice lateral stretches to begin. Now we're going to have both arms come right back up on the top. Arms are going to go to the front. And here we go rowing the boat. So elbows go back and then forward. And again, elbows go back. So we're opening up the chest. We're going to do this four times. Let's take it back and forward. One more time. It's back and forward. Now both arms are going to come up. Pull into cactus and close it up. Pull into cactus and close it up. So we're just holding a little bit right there on that close into the cactus. Close it up. One more time, and then we're going to combine. Close it up. So arms come forward, forward. Elbows go back. You're opening your chest. Now take it forward, arms up, and cactus, and close. Hold it right there for a sec. Arms are going to open up. Back to the top. Arms forward. Here we go, row the boat, take it back. Back to the front, arms up, into cactus, elbows together and hold it. Little hold right there. Open it up again, it's up and forward. Open like you're rowing the boat. Come forward one more time, lift. Cactus, now we're gonna hold it. Open it up, arms are gonna come down, shoulder blade, so shoulder rolls back. Just a few of them to loosen it up. Now I'm gonna turn so that you can see it from the side, but you know the move. Here we go, it's going to be a little bit tipped forward if you're in the chair. And pull that elbow back with your body up forward and pull it back 
forward. Pull it back one more time. You got your tummy really pulled up, right? Now hold it there. Open that back arm. Get your chest up a little bit more. Both arms forward. Drop the arms. One shoulder roll. I'm going to turn. Here we go, other side. So it's forward and pull. Forward. Let's pull it back. Forward and pull it back. Now, if you were standing, I don't want you to lean forward. I'd have you standing just straight up. All right, hold it right there. Knees do not move as we open. So the knees are exactly together. One knee didn't slide behind the other. Back to the center. Arms are gonna float down. And here we go, chest with some shoulder rolls back. Now, just to get the spine a little bit more supple, I'll turn so you can see. You don't have to turn. Inhale. We're going to round into cat. And then we arch into cow. You know, it's a big arch. and You take that deep breath in. Exhale, round into the cat. And arch into cow. Just sit straight up. I'm going to face you, so we're going to take a deep breath in. Just a little breather here. Back to the center and hold. Up to the top. Now make sure your knees, one doesn't slide behind the other. As we open to a low V, just facing one wall in that low V. Back to the top. Inhale. Here's the other side. Low V. back to the top. Arms come down and a shoulder roll or two. Here we are for our big circle movement open to the back. We're going to start in an underhand pitch. It's like bowling or underhand pitch. You reach forward and then get all the way tall. So here we go. We take it forward and lift. Open it to the back. Here's the second one. Forward lift and open here's the third one out of four lift and open one more time forward lift open to the back and now that arm is going to come straight up behind you the other arm just tuck it behind your back and now try to open your chest a little bit the top elbow points to the ceiling Okay, let's let it go. Other way. So we bow, sit tall, go back. Bow, sit tall, to the back. Two more times. So bow, sit tall. Last one. Sit tall, take it to the front. Knees are going to stay exactly together as that arm crosses. Now don't let your knees move as you twist a little tiny bit more. Come back to the center, push your palm behind you as far as you can, and the chest lifts a little bit. Back to the center, we're on the other side. So here we go. We're going low and lift. Now the knees stay together, so we don't want to shift the hips at all. And open. Two more times, just flowing right through, and open. A little dip up and open. Here's our little dip on the top. Pat yourself on the back. The other arm tucks behind your back and then you open that arm to the back. Lift your chest, one elbow up. Okay, the other way. We're gonna bow it down. It's just like a little dip and lift. So if you were standing, you would just have a little dip. Down it goes. Lift and up. One more time. Down, lift and up. That arm goes forward. Crossing the chest. Now don't move your knees at all as you twist.
Back to the center, that arm opens, pushes back. Now we're going to take on, I'm gonna turn so you can see, just a little diagonal. And this is like starting the lawnmower. So it's down on an angle, pull that elbow up. Elbow up, down, elbow up. One more. That was a nice little twist. Now, if you want to, you can open that top arm. Ah, drop it down. Shoulder rolls, we'll do the other side. I'll turn so you can see. So we're slightly leaning forward. Now it's like starting the lawnmower. So you're down and pull it up. It's down and pull the elbow back and twist. Down and twist. Down and hold it right there. Arm comes up. If you want to, you don't have to open it. Everything down, sitting tall. Here we go, a little cat. So you round it back. You know what cat and cow looks like, right? Arch it up. And take it back. Sitting tall, we're gonna have the arms with palms up. Here we go, crisscross. And open, a little bit quick today. And open, and open. Sitting tall, you don't have to open wide. What we're mostly looking for is that crisscross. Four more goes four and three, opening your back, two. Now put your palms to the back of the room, push back and lift the chest. Everything comes down, just a few more shoulder rolls. So we've got everything kind of loosened up there in the shoulder, shoulder girdle and with the rotations of the spine, we're gonna move on to weights. So, you know, if you don't have heavy weights, that's okay. But what we wanna get ourselves up to is a pair of heavy weights and a pair of lighter weights. Because as you know, biceps are a big muscle and it requires a little bit heavier of a weight. So you're gonna come to the edge of your chair with the arms down. Your back is really, really tall. See, if you're back in the chair, your arm will bump into the chair, so you gotta come right to the front. Now, we're gonna put the elbows in the waist and never swing the weights. One minute interval, here we go. Up and slowly down. Slowly up and slowly down. Slowly up, slowly down. So those elbows are really into the waist. And on the way down, we want to particularly think about how slow we're going because we are trying to resist gravity, right? So I'm watching my clock here. We're about 45 seconds into that one minute interval. And at that point, when you're 75% into your interval, interval, you want to start getting some feedback from the muscle, meaning it's getting kind of heavy. Now your tummy is up. You've got all your principles going on while we're doing these nice slow bicep curls. Elbows in the waist, nothing is swinging. That's about one minute, so let's take a little break. We're just taking about a 15 second break. Our next set, if you look at my hands, we were like this, right? Bicep curls, now we're gonna do hammer curls. You wanna hold right in the middle of the weight. All right, you ready? Second set, so the arms are all the way down so that we can get a full range. All right, here we go, one minute. Slowly on the way up, and slowly on the way down. Slowly on the way up, Slowly on the way down. And slowly down. 
slowly up. Now the elbows, you know, they're not coming up out of your waist. So we're never swinging the weight. That's about 30 seconds. So you should start to be feeling something. Now I want you to keep your back really, really lifted. Keep the tummy in. You know, we want to do all four of those principles at all times. We're all, we're 75% into this interval. So you should be feeling a little something. Tummy stays up to protect your back. Okay, that's it. We're gonna just rest for a moment. Those were your bicep curls. We're gonna do one more set. This time we're going back to palms up and we're gonna glue the elbows to your waist and come up from the side. Here we go. And down. Slowly, slowly, slowly up. Slowly, slowly down. I'm watching my clock. I put it on the floor. So if I'm going too fast or too, you know, I don't think I'm going too slow, but if you want to go a little bit slower, that would be great. Okay, we're almost there. You always want to keep those elbows glued to the waist. Okay, let's put the weights in your lap. Now we're going to shoulders next, deltoids. And as we know, deltoids are a smaller muscle than the biceps. So we might want to go down to lighter weights. We're going to do all around the shoulders. So you have the front deltoid, side deltoid, and the back. So we're going all the way around. But put the weights... <clears throat> In between, we're gonna do a little shoulder cuff. So here we go. We've got the weights down. Now, if you have really light weights, it'll be no problem to have both arms come up at the same time, but I'm gonna leave it to you. Maybe you just want one arm at a time. I'll do it one arm at a time with you. Okay, here we go. One arm at a time. And then the other. Now, remember, we're going super slow. Tummy is up. Remember those four principles. So it's like you've got your belly pulling away from a hot zipper. And your spine is super, super, super tall. Ears are over your shoulders. Keep that tummy pressed in to protect your back. Now, if it's just way too easy, you can do both at the same time. But this, uh, it gets hard quick when you're doing them both at the same time. So we keep our principles the whole time. We're doing the weights. They don't come up above your shoulders either. Okay, that was the front. Little wiggle. We're gonna take the weights out to the side so they hang down. And again, you could do them both at the same time if you wanted or one and then the other. So here we go. In three, two, one. You could do one at a time. Now remember that these are small muscles, the deltoids up there on your shoulders. They're not big like a bicep would be. So if you feel a strain at all, I want you to stop and do it without the weights. Now, if you can do both weights at the same time, you can do just that little slight bend in the elbow, keeping the body really lifted. Okay, we're 30 seconds in about. So if it ever goes into your neck, I want you to stop and I'll show you. You stop and then you just let your head like say no <laughs> so that you never want this to go into your neck. You want to stop and maybe do it without the weights before that happens. And we're going to go on with the 
back of the arm. So I'm going to turn so you can see we're just going to use one weight at a time. So you come onto a diagonal. If you're standing, you would lunge. So if you're in the chair, you're forward a little bit. Now that arm goes back on the diagonal and it doesn't go lower than that. It just goes up from there. We're going to go 30 seconds on each side. So here we go. We're on the back of the arm. So you want to look straight ahead. I'm turning my head to look at the camera, but you look straight ahead. We don't want any twisting of the neck while we're doing this. So keep the tummy up. Neck is nice and long. Five more seconds here. And we take it down. We're ready for the other side. So leaning it forward, arm goes a little bit behind you. And here we go, 30 seconds. So you're leaning slightly forward. That arm never goes in front of your hips and it goes straight behind you. You don't want to take it on the diagonal. Straight behind. You got a long neck. You got your tummy up. All those principles are working. And there we go. Everything comes up. Now you could have your light or heavy weights for this next part because you're gonna have a little bit, uh, a little bit more, um, you know, muscle helping you out. We're gonna go to the cactus and we're just gonna do the raise the roof. Now we're not coming all the way up and we're not dropping down. So your elbows are right there to the side and here we go, one minute. A little lift, so we've got part of your back helping you now. Sitting tall, so the whole time we're doing this, you know we're thinking of our four principles. Tummy is tight, shoulder blades are down, ears are over your shoulders, and your spine is super, super long and tall. I know it's hard to hold on to those abs, right? But that's what we have our <laughs> that's what we have our brain for. Up and down with those abs tight. You got about 10 more seconds. You should be feeling a little something. And let's take a break. Oh. So let's put the weights down for a sec. And I just want to go on to shoulder cuff, but I do not want to do this with weights. So our arms are out and you have thumbs up. Out of all the years I've been working out, which is like a really, really long time, like 50 years, let's go thumbs down, thumbs up. I do not like doing shoulder cuff rotation with weights in my hand. All the years I've been working out, I don't do it. Shoulder cuff, it's so easy to pull it or strain it. So I just always do shoulder cuff, these little rotations without weights. And let's bring the arms down. Little shoulder rolls. So that was a lot on the shoulders, right? So we did the bicep up here. We did all around the shoulder. Now we're going to tricep. Tricep is that dingle dangle that always hangs down that nobody likes to be dingling dangling so I'm gonna turn to the side when we are in this position we want to make sure that you are not arching your back in fact if you are standing I would like you to tuck under in the pelvis because you have weight behind you, right? So you don't want your booty back there too, making more weight behind you for your lower back. So if you were standing, I would want you to tuck under so that you didn't have a sway back. In the chair, you're a little safer. So here we go. But you always want to keep the tummy in. Now we're going to drop the weights so that they're right next to your head. We don't want to be here. 
Okay, nice and tall. Get those weights next ears, uh, elbows tight by your ears, and we slowly go up and down. Now the tummy is tight. Now that you've seen it from the side, you can see that I'm not slumping. And in fact, I'd like those abs in, and for sure we're not making a sway back. So you got the abs in, your spine is nice and straight. And as you can see, the elbows are straight, straight ahead. It's on your way up that you're working the tricep, on your way up. There we go, up and down. But So the down is really controlled. And it's on the way up, on that press, on the way up. That works the tricep. And there is one minute, so let's take it down. We're gonna do one more tricep. It's called a tricep kickback. And we just do one arm at a time. So here we are, you're slightly leaned forward, and then you put the weight on your hip like you're putting a gun in a holster, and that gun never comes in front of the holster. A slight lean forward, if you were standing, you would be in a lunge, slightly leaning forward. Now from the elbow to the wrist, that's where the movement is. So let's go, one minute. The elbow stays in the exact same place. So nothing is really um, swinging like this. The elbow is just in the same place. You're slightly tipped forward because we want the gravity, you know, to be working. We lift it up against that gravity. And if you're sitting up just straight like this, it doesn't work. If this ever bothers your back, you want to stop and just do it without weights. And remember, I'm turning my head to look at you, but you want to look straight ahead out over your knees and not twist your neck. When you're lifting weights, we're never twisting our neck. You're going to feel this in the tricep and maybe a little bit in your back. All right, everything down. You're ready for the other side? Here we go. So you're gonna change hands. Come to a diagonal, put the gun in the holster, and here we go for one minute. Now, even though you're kind of leaning forward, you've still got those tight abs. You're still reaching, reaching, reaching your spine so long. The back of your neck is straight so that your ears are lined up with your shoulders. We don't want to crink your neck like this. We want the neck nice and long, one line from the top of the head to the tailbone. Abs are in, shoulder blades are down. All the principles are still happening. So I'm gonna uh, let you decide your pace on this, but we don't want to go fast and swing that weight. If it starts to bother your back at all, I want you to stop and do it without the weight. Or just do some shoulder rolls and relax. Okay, that's it. We're gonna put the weight down. And I'm gonna show you, we did bicep and tricep, right and shoulder. So this is a tricep stretch. You already know it because we did it at the beginning when we were doing those, you know, circles. That's a tricep. Now take that arm straight in front of you and across. We already did this one too. You know what it is. This, you'll stretch the shoulder on the bicep. So now that we have done, you know, contracting of the muscle, we want to do stretching of the muscle. Let's go the other side. So this is the tricep stretch. Get your tummy tight. Get your back lifted, ears over the shoulders. And here comes the tricep stretch. This is bicep and shoulder. When it's behind your back, it's tricep. So this would be the tricep, and this is the bicep shoulder. Okay, guys, here we go. We're moving down your body. So we're gonna go into the hip flexors. If you wanna hold your chair, 
that's fine, but we're gonna lift. Now, oh, we will do these later standing, but I would like everybody sitting right now to do these because actually it's harder to do when you're sitting in a chair. It's harder to do with your back erect. So you keep going, I'm gonna show you, this is what we don't want. We don't, I'm exaggerating, but you know what I mean. So we want to stay really super tall and lift like a little march so it stays right there in the hip flexor. So we're going to shake it out. We're going to come back to those in a minute, but first we're going to move the legs out into, uh, you got to come to the edge of your chair, move the legs out. Oh, and if it starts cramping, Let's come back in, move it out. I know it gets crampy, right? So we're gonna open it up. We're in the chair now, pressing the thighs back because I'm gonna ask you to remember this press of the thighs in a little bit. So your hands are helping you press the thighs back. Now get your body really up and then arms out. Yes, so the goal here is to press those thighs back and I know you're going to feel it back in the hips especially in the back there pressing the thighs back hard as you can and sitting tall let it go wiggle everything back to the center now arms come up this time we'll do this standing later but it's harder in the chair so shoulders down as we lift the hard part is keeping your back erect and your shoulders down. And then we're just going to cross one over and then the other. So when you do the crossover, you're going to be tempted to slump, but that's the time where you have to pull up even more. Just a few more. Ah, one more on each side and feet flat now just to relax your back that's a lot of that's a lot of muscle power in your back you're going to round into cat so sitting erect like that you're using muscles called the erector spinae and the multifidus so those muscles go up your back to make you erect and now we're just stretching them out relaxing in cat we're going to come to the edge of the chair one thing we always want to be able to do is get up off of a chair and so lean a little bit forward arms swing back and then we're going to come up into yoga chair pose but we're just going to do the swing one more time to think about are your feet in the right place take the arms back here we go up it goes we're in yoga chair pose now put your hands in namaste here and put your weight on your heels and it reaches your booty back just a little bit. Here we go, up and down, up, up and down, up and down. It's tiny, it's a tiny little pulse. Almost done, all the way up. Here we go, take that deep breath in and open we're coming to the back of the chair standing super tall now on your feet i want you to think about your big toe and your baby toe and your heel so it makes like a triangle on each foot right so we're on that whole foot to begin with tummy is up here's all your principles we're gonna do uh, raises calf raises but look at my feet we never want to open like that. You want to glue your ankles together. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. And down. Now maybe you can do this with just one finger on the chair. But the thing I want you to think about are your four principles and keeping those ankles together. Up and down. Up. Okay, now stay up. Stay up there. Squeeze the ankles together. 
Let go with one hand. Keep the tailbone down, tummy up. Let go with the other hand. Keep the tailbone down. Now maybe just one finger on the chair. Other side, maybe just one finger. And if you want to try, now let it go. Come on down, let's shake it out. Starting some lunges, we're going to go into a crescent lunge. So we put one foot under the chair, other foot goes back, and both, all ten toes are straight ahead. Then bend that front knee and see if you can keep that back heel on the floor. So you can see my knee is over my ankle, never in front of it. Tummy is up. Here comes that back foot. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Four more, up and down. So all 10 toes are straight ahead. Okay, now let's hold it down. One arm up. If you want to let go of the chair, other arm up. But your knee is touching the chair a little bit. It gives you a little confidence. This is crescent lunge. Hands come to the chair. Step it back. And this is a down dog in chair yoga. It's like an L. Everything back up. Okay, here we go. One foot slightly under the chair. Other leg behind you, 10 toes straight ahead. Bend your knee to touch the chair, but try to keep that back heel down. Tummy is lifted as we stretch it there for a second. Keep that tummy up, tailbone down, and here we go. It's up and down. So every time you push that heel down, it gives a little flexibility in the ankle joints, which we want. All right, hold it there. Shoulder blades are down. We got all our principles working for us. And if you want to, you can let go of the other arm. You could switch from right to left. Now the tailbone's down, the tummy is up, the pelvis is level. Hands to the chair. Walk it back into your downward facing dog. Everything comes back up. We're going to Warrior One. Now, the difference between Warrior One and Warrior Two, they're both lunges, but in Crescent, or the difference between Crescent Lunge and, and Warrior One is the back hip turns slightly out, which makes the foot look like it's turned out. So, from this angle, one knee is right, foot is right there under the chair. The other leg is turned out from the hip a little bit and the toes point to what looks like 10 o'clock. Now these two bones, they're gonna face the chair. So when they come around to face the chair, you have to make sure that that doesn't wrench your knee back there. So you're not too turned out because that put pressure on your knee, right? It's just enough. You gotta find the sweet spot. So there we are in our warrior one. Take one arm up. Change arms if you want, or take both arms. Now, if you want to, we're gonna take the arms to cactus. And then close the elbows. So there we go, we're holding our warrior one. And elbows are touching just like we practiced at the beginning. Come on, back to cactus. Arms up. Now both arms are gonna touch the chair. Whatever leg is in the front, 
that's the arm that's going to go to the front. And then we take the elbow back like when we were doing the bow and arrow at the beginning. So this is warrior one twist. Back to the center. That arm goes down and shake it out a little bit. Downward facing dog, relaxing your back. And here we go back up to the other side. So we're going into the warrior one lunge. Knee, foot is under the chair a little bit so that the knee doesn't, the knee will hit the chair before you get in trouble. You'd be in trouble if you put your knee in front of your ankle. Back leg is slightly turned out from the hip. And then those two hip bones face the chair. Arms are coming up. One or both, your choice. This is the classic warrior one. Now that back foot, the baby toe side of that back foot is on the floor. Keep your tummy pulled up. Now we're coming into cactus. And then with your back lifted, touch the elbows together. Now you could always put the elbows on the chair, the back of the chair, you know? if you're not ready to lift them off and balance. You just keep the elbows on the chair. Take a deep breath there. Come back to cactus, arms come up and forward, holding onto the chair. Whatever leg is in the front, that's the arm that goes front. Now pull your tummy in tight, get your tailbone down and tummy is up. Abs are up, tailbone down. And here we go, twist it. So whatever leg is in the front, that's the arm that does the twist. This is a warrior one twist, and it's a big twist. Back to the center, hands on the chair. Here we go, shake out your knees. If you wanna keep your knees bent, it kind of feels good. or you can stretch your legs into that downward facing dog. Well, let's come on up. We're gonna do warrior two. It's a beautiful pose. It's just like war all the other lunges with the front foot, but the back foot is going to turn out. So it's perpendicular to the front foot. And then these two bones, they also follow the same line as that leg that's straight. Now you can hold on to the chair if you like. The tailbone is down, your back is straight. Now warrior two is a profile pose. So there we go, let's take it out, pull the tailbone down. After these uh, yoga stretches, we're gonna go back into some leg strength. Exercises that aren't as juicy and stretchy as these. So from here, we'll put your arm on the chair if you like, and then stretch the side of your body into extended side angle. Coming back into your warrior two. You can hold the chair if you want. Now the tailbone is down and the tummy is up. Your back is lengthened. Holding onto the chair, turn all 10 toes straight ahead. So now everything is straight ahead. Knees bend, you can hold the chair if you want. Otherwise, let it go and just round your back into cat. Remember cat and cow, we're just going to cat and let it go. We're ready for warrior two on the other side. I'm gonna move my chair so I can keep watching you. Here we go, one foot under the chair, knee is against the chair, other foot turns out. Now remember when we did that goddess pose and we're sitting with our thighs apart and we were pushing the thigh back? We wanna push that thigh back. And then this foot opens, these two bones are on the same line as that foot profile and if you want to you could just have one arm on the chair 
If you're ready to lift it up, go ahead. But I want you to think about that inner thigh on the bent leg pushing back. Shoulder blades are down. Tailbone is down. Abs are pulling up. Ears are over your shoulders, you know, kind of. But your head is turned, but I know you know what I mean. Now that front thigh, it is really pressing back. Here we go into extended side angle. Now the baby toe side of this foot on the floor, you wanna make sure it doesn't come off the floor. So that whole foot presses down. Otherwise it kind of squishes your arch, you know, and puts your ankle in a weird place. Back into your warrior. You could have your arm there on the chair or lift it off, but the tailbone is down so that the pelvis is level. Like if your pelvis was a bowl, it would be level without anything spilling out of the bowl. Shoulder blades are down. Holding onto the chair, all 10 toes come straight ahead as you bend your knees. Exhale as you round into that cat. And down, everything rolls up. Let's take a deep breath in. We're gonna start working on your leg strength a little bit more by standing on one leg. So we also wanna work on stability, meaning when this, when one leg comes off the floor, this knee isn't wiggling all around. This knee is over like the second toe and it stays right there. So facing the chair, knees are gonna bend, but you don't make a swoop of your body. You get the tailbone down and the tummy up, the pelvic bowl is level. All right, here we go. Knees are bent. Knee to knee. Now we're going to just poke that foot back. Back and in. Back, in. Back, in. Back, knee to knee. Tummy is tight now. Knee to knee. And in. Now hold it behind you, but don't let your body become like a sway back. You keep it tight, one arm forward. Now that standing leg, it isn't wiggling it around. You're gonna feel it tighten up back here, right? Hold the chair. That back leg comes to the front. Then pick up the toes on the front. So you're just on your heel. Bend your back knee. Yeah, this is such a nice stretch. So when we take our leg behind us like that, that is hip extension. The muscle in charge of hip extension is the gluteus maximus. Everything comes up. We're going to stay on that same leg. So knees are bent. I'm going to turn to show you. Then the knee comes up exactly like it was before. But instead of going to the back, we're lifting to the side. So here we go. Now you're going to feel like letting your hip go toward the chair, but no, we don't want to. We're super stable in that standing leg. Knee is not moving, not a bit. It stays over like that second toe and it doesn't move or wiggle. If you're standing on a bent knee, all four principles, that means your abs are pulled in, away from a hot zipper. Your spine is long. Your shoulder blades are pulled down and your ears are over your shoulders. And hold it. Now cross that leg over. And then you just take a little stretch forward. Okay, come on up, shake it out. We're gonna stay on the same leg. I know, it really wears it out. Now this time both legs are straight. We're gonna take one arm up if you can, or put it on your hip, your choice. Here we go, we're bringing it up and down. 
Yeah, nice and slow. Up and down. One more time. Up and now. See if you can just hold it up. Everything comes down. Bend your knees. Wiggle, wiggle a little bit. We're going to the other leg. So it would be easier on us if we went, you know, the poke to the back, to the right, and then the left, and then, you know, kept switching legs. But I'm keeping us on the same standing leg because that's more advanced. All right, here we go. Knees bent. Make sure you're not sticking your booty out so everything is tall. Knee to knee, you're just standing, thinking about the stability of the standing leg. Back, two, three, four, five out of eight, six. Really stable in that standing leg. Now take it back and hold it back. Whatever leg is in the front, take that arm. Now you could have your arms straight or in a bowl is more like the dancer pose in, in yoga. Ooh. Let's stretch it out. So the leg that was in the back is gonna go to the front. Flex that foot and tip. So we're trying for a flat back. So that was hip extension. Now we're going for our hip abduction. Bending the knees, get the tailbone down, tummy up, knee to knee. Now, as we're doing this, you know we are not letting this hip go toward the chair. We're keeping that standing knee right over the second toe. Nothing is moving in the standing leg. Big toe and baby toe and heel are equal on the floor. Tummy is up. Now, if this ever gets to be too much, you know you stop. You can always come back in. So we want to go all the way around the hip. We did it to the back. Hip extension. Now we're going to the side. Hip abduction. If it gets too much, you just take a break. Right, okay, let's cross that leg over the other one and just go over a little tiny bit. Now, you know we're going around the hip, so we need hip flexion to be next. Hip flexion is when we go this way. So, both legs are straight, one arm up. Knee comes up and down. Knee comes up and down. He comes up, shoulders, shoulders are really down. Here's the fourth one we're gonna hold at. Now on your standing leg, you don't wanna have your weight all on your, on your heel. So you get your weight a little bit forward, big toe, baby toe, heel, equal. Everything down, oh, we deserve a little break. So walk, walk, walk it, and then take it to the back. We're gonna change legs. We're gonna go to another balance. So, you know, all those little, you know, we went around your hip like that. We would not do that in a yoga class. Those are strengthening for the hip. But now we're gonna do a yoga pose called tree pose that uh, is a very nice balance. It is on one leg. We've been uh, working up to this. So you're, you're straight both legs. Then the leg that's not near the chair, you're gonna turn it out. Now you could have your foot on your calf or on your thigh, but you never ever wanna put it on your knee joint. So you could also have it on the floor, toe on the floor. You decide, but one leg is straight ahead, the other hip is turned out. Now get the tailbone down, tummy up. I'm doing the low one. Uh, so, you know, in yoga, you uh, a lot of times see people up here for chair pose. You know, if you've got the knees for that, 
go for it. But what we're really working on is the balance, the posture, the four principles, and the standing leg, big toe, baby toe, heel on that standing leg that's straight ahead. And if you want to, you can come into the namaste. If you uh, want the chair, you can put your elbow there on the back of the chair or take it off. Tummy is in, get your four principles on this balance. Leg to the front, let's shake it out a little bit. We're gonna do the balance on the other side. So, whatever, both legs are straight ahead. You just turn out the one that's away from the chair. Toe can be on the floor. Now remember when we were in goddess pose and you were pressing the thigh back? That's what we're doing. So tailbone is down, tummy is up. Hands to namaste. You could have your elbow on the chair like I'm doing right now or, you know, lift it off, whatever you like. Or hold on. So, um... It's so nice to end with a balance, isn't it? It just kind of brings everything together. Bring it to the front. Everything shakes out. We're almost done. I just want to do a little bit more glutes. So here we go, standing tall now. Just put your elbows on the back of your chair or like this. So both knees are gonna bend. One leg comes behind. All right, here we go. Up and down, eight times. Eight, seven, six, five. It doesn't matter if you just, if you just come off one inch. Doesn't matter. Good, feet together. Knees are bent, put the other leg back. It can come off one inch, that's okay. Here's two, but we wanna keep the legs straight. And eight. Let's roll it up have a seat in the chair to end. So at the very end, we'll just sit, but the four principles are still working. Your abs are pulling away from a hot zipper. You've got a Kegel pulling up. Spine is super long. Ears are over the shoulders. Shoulder blades are pulling down. Let's take that deep breath in. Shoulder blades pull down as we come into this namaste. One more time up and open. Right arm is just gonna come up in a little flow. So we, you know, we just want your nervous system to calm down a little bit for the end with a little bit of a flow, both arms up. Back to that namaste. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Always my pleasure to be with you. So until we meet again, namaste.